Welcome to worship at Trinity Lutheran Church as we gather on this Wednesday in Lent. We are thankful that you have chosen to spend this time in worship with us. Our theme for these Lenten midweek services is standing on holy ground. We hope that you can use this time to be at peace and to simply rest in the presence of God. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine within your people
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. I have the most amazing honor and privilege every day to stand on holy ground in room 304 at Cherrydale Elementary School. However, I could never have imagined how difficult and challenging my first year of teaching would be. I mean, seriously, my first year and a global pandemic? But despite that, it's been a magical wild ride. After seven job interviews, One principal said I was too enthusiastic, and another one said I didn't have any experience. I got the dream teaching position. I'm supported by administration, I enjoy the people I work with, and I absolutely love my kiddos. They are who have taught me the most. For instance, Josiah taught me how to jump rope correctly, and Evelyn taught me how to skip backwards. Juana taught me most of my Spanish vocabulary, although most of it's food. Jonathan taught me how to make video games online, and Jalen taught me the correct way to eat ribs, and Jalen taught me to dance, especially when people say you look weird. And I really treasure these days that I have with my kids. We listen to 80s hits in the morning. We name every inanimate object in the room. For instance, the pencil sharpener's name is Pete, and the clock is Frank, and Sylvia is the printer. We learn how to round to the tune of We Will Rock You, and we read so many wonderful books. But some days, I don't feel like the world's best and most engaging teacher. I accidentally taught longitude and latitude backwards. No one in my room knows when to correctly use a comma, including myself. I even suffered a major anxiety attack in the middle of teaching fractions that led to my brief hospitalization. This job is incredibly wonderful and incredibly hard. Working in an underprivileged area takes a real toll. Test scores are low, high school dropout rates for these students are high, and there are more students who do not have enough food at home to eat than those who do. Some days, my only goal is for my sweet class of 21 third graders to know that somebody loves them. When a student came into my class on a cold rainy day with only a short sleeve shirt, she wore my Furman sweatshirt to recess and a new coat home. When I got two students who only spoke Spanish, I learned how to say, I'm happy you're here, in Spanish. Estoy feliz si que estás aquí. They all laugh at my pronunciation. When a student told me that her sister was a lesbian, I started sending all of my queer positive books home with her so that she could read some queer love stories to her sister. I'm told her favorite is Marlon Bundo. When one student's mother's boyfriend was shot and killed that night, I let him sit at my desk all day and be the teacher's assistant. He is fantastic at picking perfect coloring pages. And in the days following the election, when we did not yet know who the president would be for the next four years, when one of my students sobbed because his father might be deported, we stopped everything to write encouraging messages to one another on our plexiglass dividers. I was not prepared for this. My education from Furman did a lot, but it did not prepare me for this. But somehow, and I have to believe that it's God, I have what I need every day to do this thing. I know I have my church family supporting me when times are rough, and they are always there to celebrate me, celebrate with me the small successes. How lucky and how blessed I am to stand on holy ground every day. I feel God's presence and this certainty that I am supposed to be here teaching these kids no matter how hard it can be. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel. 
great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and and thanks thanks to you. you. May God create or bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever like for Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God.